Hi everyone, I'm Mona Marlo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, it's all about the sultry, glamorous, beautiful, and ever so talented Miss Peggy Lee and her signature fragrance that she loved and wore throughout her life. If this is your first time here, I'm all about legendary perfumes and legends who wore them. Peggy Lee was a woman of her own league. She um, was a pioneer who inspired women not only to be um, vocalists and um, jazz singers, but to write and compose their own music like she did which was very, very rare in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Um, her career skyrocketed in the 1940s and ended in the 1990s. And that's a very, very long career. She wrote um, and arranged over 250 songs and um, to me was the epitome the epitome of class and she was sort of like the counterpart of Frank Sinatra. They were good friends as well, lovers, um, rumored um, at times, and neighbors and good friends for a very long time. And they also loved to sing um, many of the same songs and they both had a certain quality that pulled you in, um, that really um, had the audience almost in a hypnotic, spellbound state that um, they both um, were like saloon sing singers. They could, you know, quiet their voice and pull you in and have you completely spellbound. Um, I don't think any two other artists that I can think of had that quality. And she really also not only was dedicated to her craft, but also her glamorous, beautiful, blonde looks. Um, she loved to beautify herself. Um, she would manicure her own nails twice a week, as do I. Um, she loved to do her own hair, um, her own makeup, and just loved to be a woman. She really was just what a lady is in my eyes um, and um, always inspired me in that sense as well. She was a class act. Let's just put it that way. They don't exist anymore, unfortunately. And she um, was a woman who really pioneered and paved the way for so many other female artists and did it in such an elegant, graceful, classy way that has never been matched and never will be. And her favorite fragrance that she was committed to for decades and only wore was my signature scent as well that I mentioned many times on this channel and that is Arpege by the House of Lanvin. This is a 1927 release. It, it was coined the, mo the most famous perfume in the 1950s. And I can see why so many legendary stars from Marilyn Monroe, Greta Garbo, um, Josephine Baker, you name it, favored Arpege. And I discovered this perfume in 1996 when it was relaunched in this Art Deco 
bottle. Now um, the reformulated version comes in a black opaque bottle, but this was the formula that I fell in love with. And of course, when I discovered the vintage x -ray, I fell even more in love with and has been my life for yes 20 years now 1996 I can't even count that long but that's a long time and anyone who knows me knows the scent and it really is a beautiful aldehydic white floral with a very um, animalic ambergris base that makes it so unique because yes it's sparkling um, beautiful and elegant but it has a naughty girl quality um, because of that ambergris note um, it's super super um, classy and um, refined. I guess most people would consider this a dress, a very dress up perfume, but I don't, I wear it as, you know, my go-to everyday scent. And I highly recommend Arpege by Lan Van if you like Chanel Number no. 5 or Aldehydic Fragrances. This is a perfume that I adore and I can totally see Miss Peggy Lee wearing. She had to have this fragrance sprayed in her mansion and um, in her dressing rooms at all times. So I can only imagine how people associated this perfume with her as well and um, I highly recommend to people who um, that don't know um, her music and her performances to just look her up on um, here on YouTube and just watch her perform I guarantee you she will have you hypnotized spellbound by the way she performs phrases um, her music in a way that you've never seen um, any other singer before and that says a lot about her magic and she was a very mystical magical spiritual woman who um, wasn't religious, but was extremely into the metaph metaphysical. Um, and I am as well. Um, so I feel a great kinship to Peggy Lee. And I dedicate this video to, um, of course, Miss Peggy Lee and all her fans. And with that, I'd like to close. I will see you in my next video to come very, very soon. Bye-bye.